So I just want to speak a little bit about the shofar before I pray. You recall in Exodus 19, the blast of the shofar emanating from the cloud on Mount Sinai made the Israelites tremble in awe. Remember that? Shofar coming out of the cloud. Now the shofar and the trumpet are used to announce the new moon. They're used to announce the jubilee year. They're also used to call people to worship. They're also used in healing. They're also used for military purposes to sound the alarm when the enemy is coming. And the trumpet especially is used to announce the coronation of a king. And of course, as soon as we hear that, we think of Yeshua. Because the uh, trumpet will sound when he comes. I just want to read about how the bride makes herself ready. And I'm going to read from uh, Matthew 24, 25, and Revelation 19. At that time, the sun, sign of the Son of Man will appear in the sky, and all the nations of the earth will mourn. They will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of the sky with power and great glory. And he will send his angels with a loud trumpet call, and they will gather his elect from the four winds, from one end of the heavens to the other. If the owner of the house had known at what time the thief was coming, he would have kept watch and would not have let his house be broken into. So you also must be ready, because the Son of Man will come at an hour when you do not expect him. At midnight the cry rang out, Here's the bridegroom. Come out and meet him. Then all the virgins woke up and trimmed their lamps. The foolish ones said to the wise, Give us some of your oil. Our lamps are going out. No, they replied, there may not be enough for both of us. And you go and buy some for yourselves. But while they were on their way to buy the oil, the bridegroom arrived virgins who were ready went in with him to the wedding banquet and the door was shut for the wedding of the lamb has come and his bride has made herself ready So let us pray. And I'm reading from the Jewish prayer book about Rosh Hashanah. And this is one of the prayers that are said. Blessed art thou, Lord our God, King of the universe, who was has granted us life and sustenance and permitted us to reach this season. Amen. Another prayer offered up to the Lord. May this be a beautiful day for you. May this be a sweet year for you in heaven and here on earth. In heaven and here on earth. May this be a beautiful and sweet year for you. To see and hear your children with gladness and joy 
thankfulness and praise for you. Yes, thankfulness and praise for you. May it be in their hearts. May it be on their lips. A chorus at such a time as this. May there be joy for you in your kingdom. May you dance and sing. Yes, may you dance and sing. As our King in heaven and here on earth, at such a time as this. Yes, at such a time as this. May this be why we bend our knees. May this be why we bend our knees. <laughs> to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Yes, to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Both now and forevermore. Both now and forevermore. In Yeshua's name. Amen. And Father, in your mercy and grace, we ask that you bless us with your presence here today. We ask for your presence here today, Lord. Come, Yeshua, come. Come, Holy Spirit. We offer this time up to you. We celebrate with you today, Lord. We thank you for the head of the year, the new year, Rosh Hashem. And we, Lord, we pray it will be a sweet, <laughs> sweet, sweet year for you. And a sweet, sweet year for us. And we ask this in Yeshua's name. Amen. <laughs>